It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. One eternity later. Hello, my fellow musicians. My name is Miss B. I've been playing the bassoon for 10 years. Quite a long time, if you ask me. And the reason I've played it so long is because I love bassoon. There's so many cool things, and I can't wait to explore that with you. With that being said, let's get started. Oh, hello there, my friends. I'm so glad that you could join me today to talk about the bassoon. But before we talk about how the bassoon works, we have to talk about what it is. Now, when we refer to instruments, there are usually two types that we like to talk about. We like to talk about brass instruments and woodwind instruments. And what sets these two groups apart is what the instrument is made out of. Now, the bassoon is made out of a hard maple wood. So that means the bassoon is in... That's right, the woodwind family. Now, even within the woodwind family, there are so many different types of groups. Now the bassoon is in what we like to call the double reed family. Reeds are tiny little pieces of wood on the end of woodwind instruments that help us make our sound. A double reed means we have two pieces of little reed we call cane strapped together that vibrate when we put air through them. And that is what makes our sound so unique from all the other woodwinds. When we play on our double reed, it sounds a little something like this. There are six different parts of the bassoon. Let's go ahead and see how it's put together and what those parts are. Welcome to the Bassoon Olympics. Today, we will be watching Miss B put together the bassoon. We are in for a real treat, folks. Fasten your seatbelts. Three, two, one, and we're off. Such delicate handling as she pulls out the boot joint. And the wing joint, have you ever seen such skill? It was a long shot, but she got the long joint and even remembered the lock. The bell is on and the vocal followed quickly. Wow, what mastery, truly an icon. The first thing that people usually notice about the bassoon is how tall it is. When I first started playing, it was taller than me. It's four and a half feet tall. And the reason that it's so tall is so we can play so many notes. So we can play really, really low. And really, really high. I'm sick of talking about the bassoon. So let's go ahead and let's get to the fun part, playing. Okay, my future bassoonist, now we're gonna go over one of my favorite pieces of music, Peter and the Wolf. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's totally okay if you don't know. I'm gonna tell the whole story, and I pinky promise I won't tell anyone you didn't know. So basically, there was this little boy named Peter, and he loves exploring, but his grandfather doesn't let him explore the woods because it's too dangerous. Well, Peter decides to let his curiosity get the best of him, and his grandfather locks him out of the house. Can you give me your biggest surprise face and say that's totally crazy? Yeah, that, that's how I felt too, it was totally crazy. Now, I'm not gonna tell you everything that Peter encountered while he was out, but a little birdie told me it had something to do with a wolf. It's really scary if you ask me. Anyways, I'm getting totally off topic. The whole point is that the grandfather is actually played by the bassoon, which I think is totally cool. So now we're about to listen to Peter and the Wolf. I wanna make sure that you have your best listening ears on, just in case that pesky wolf is around. <laughs> Everyone likes classical music as much as I do, but that's okay because that's why we have so many different genres of music and bassoon can play in almost any genre. 
This next piece we're gonna listen to, you might be a little familiar with. So, go ahead and put on those best listening ears again and we're gonna give the song a little listen. <laughs> Way down by morning In my birthday suit More and more artists are putting bassoon into their music just because it brings a new kind of different sound that they couldn't find before. So, if any new popular music comes out, you might want to have your ears peeled for some bassoon. Thank you for spending time with me today, friends. I'm so glad we got to learn about the bassoon together, and I hope you love it just as much as I do. I hope to see you playing bassoon in the future. <laughs>